Some of us in this room can be fired from their jobs simply because of who they are. Some of the people in this room can be denied an apartment or a house, not because of sexual desires or actions, but simply because of who they are. And we have an historic opportunity today to right a wrong that should have been righted decades ago. I will never forget the day that the United States Supreme Court decided on marriage equality. I remember taking pictures of sidewalk chalk. I remember taking pictures um, of the celebrations that occurred around me. And this was something that didn't impact my life in any way. It didn't make my life any better. It didn't make my life any worse. But I recognized in that moment that finally my friends and my neighbors had the same rights that I've had. I am a straight Catholic woman married to a straight Jewish man. Because of who we are, I cannot be fired from my job. My husband cannot be fired from his job. We cannot be denied a mortgage. We cannot be denied housing. The reality is that most of us in this room today enjoy those same protections. But some of us in this room today do not. Every single one of us in this room has to recognize that granting those around us more rights and more protections does nothing to strip away our own rights and protections. This is an incredibly proud day for the state of Michigan, a state that is signaling to the rest of the country that no matter who you are, you are welcome here. You will be protected here. You can find a job, a career, doing what you love, and a place and a community that you can call home. I'm incredibly proud and grateful to this legislature and my colleague for working on this for so many years, and I'm proud to stand in support of this today. Thank you. And clearly, some of you still want to use one verse in Leviticus to discriminate against LGBTQ people. But if you are truly sincere, a true sincere adherent to Leviticus, and you let it define how you treat other people, let it instead be the verse that Rabbi Akiva, the ancient Jewish scholar and chief of the sages, said was the greatest principle of the Torah. Ve'ahavta l'recha kamocha, love thy neighbor as thyself, that it is forbidden to do to others what you would not want done to yourself. Treat others how you'd want to be treated. I studied the Torah in Hebrew school. You're not going to challenge me on the Old Testament. Just the fact that some of you can forget that simple principle, that's what some might call sacrilegious. I urge a no vote, and I request my remarks be printed in the journal. Without objection, so ordered.